the boxers here. The orchard of Provo. Right? All the boxers are here, yeah? I'd say so. I don't know if Connor is here with the boxers now. That's the importance of having a paddle, because you never know when, you're, when something's going to happen. <laughs> Top of the stairs. We're gonna stop there. We're gonna stop there until I come back and give you the signal, and then we're gonna enter the ring, okay? You go one way, you go the other Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! The last time I spoke to you guys in a group, I suppose a big group, uh, was in the National Stadium. And I promised you that day that uh, after tonight, after fight night, you would all thank me. Whoever was in there would thank me for the experience and the opportunity you got to fight and that you'd say, when can I do that again, Darren? The winner. On a split decision. In the red corner, Shane Buzzi McNamara. Happy birthday, Shane. Well done. And it is a great experience. Guys that box all their all their life and all their career may never fight in front of the crowd you're going to fight in front of tonight. In the blue corner. So it is, it's something to take away from, from here tonight. We have Lafferty in the red, Cagney in the blue, the referee, Kieran O'Neill. And all the work that you guys put in is just fantastic, it really is fantastic. And it's a credit to you, and it's a credit to the whole thing of what you've helped to achieve here now. Where tonight I'd say we will have 85,000 euros for St. John's Ward. In the blue corner, Which is, you know, fantastic. This man is from County Clare. He is a rower and an iron man. And his pet hate is Tipperary Hurler. Please welcome Declan. Fight night. Fighting out of the blue corner. This chap happens to be a temporary All Ireland champion hurler. And he hates rowers from Clare. Would you please put your hands together for Connor, the Ash Assassin Glasson? So we'll put all that nice stuff beside. We do want to entertain the crowd. But more importantly, I want everyone who is boxing tonight to leave here with a feeling, a real sense of achievement. And the only way you do that is if you don't cheat yourself and you don't cheat your partner. A truly blockbusting contest there. And very rightly billed as the immovable object against the unstoppable force. Fantastic clash. And the judge's decision for contest number five. The winner on a majority decision in the blue corner, Connor Ash Assassin Glasson. So, I'm asking you this. Go at each other. You're not going to kill each other, okay? We're going, we're going to bind you. Your cornermen are going to bind you. The referee is going to bind you. 80 ounce gloves are going to bind you. Let's just go at each other. Don't come out of the rain with your lung, with your lungs full of air. You should be. F okay? You should be crawling out of the rain because then you know you gave it everything.
minutes of boxing that's all it is most of you guys you've all done marathons football matches rugby matches triathlons ironman everything like that so five and a half minutes of intensity that's what it's all about and it's not for the crowd i couldn't give a f up the crowd because they're going to have a good night anyway i'm talking about g the g enjoy this and you bring this experience away with g okay In the blue So everything is in place, guys, for a fantastic night. Presenting the Garda Boxing Club, it's Alan Killer Combo! Fighting out of the blue corner, this man is a personal trainer and an accomplished Ironman. Put your hands together for Garrett. Ceremonies here, John McAvoy. She used to stand in the Golden Girls, but she's live here with us in the right venue. Round two.
he's useless. He's seen these shows. I think he'll see. I, John, I think after today, after tonight, you're going to say that's the best white collar show I was ever at. And I can tell you about these guys. They are absolutely fantastic. They really are. So I think you'll see that for yourself. So you tell them what the show is going to be about, how it's going to run, what we need, and what's expected of them. Okay? Let's have a big, huge round of applause for Shady and Alan, everybody. What a ding dong battle that was. It's no wonder the standard of boxing in Ireland is so good. You get two guys like that, you train them for eight weeks, and they sell out the whole right venue. What an action packed fight. And the judge's decision for contest number eight. There could only be one decision, folks. It's a draw. Well done, man. Okay everybody, hello. My name is John McAvoy. I work for White Collar Boxing in various guises. I'm a sometimes coach, sometimes I do a bit of PR, and I do MC at all the events. Yes, the contest number nine on the program. Sisk in the red, O'Donoghue in the blue. The referee, Kieran O'Neill. As Darren has just explained there, this is a unique event for each and every one of you. It's a personal assignment and pro project that you've taken upon yourselves as a group. You're, you're going to get a whole lot of goodness and wholesomeness out of this event here this evening. You've put a hell of a lot of effort into training for it for the last eight weeks. Sixteen thousand tickets sold, an absolute sellout. Thirty seconds. Mainly, the average crowd we get in here is between eight hundred and one thousand. So to have nearly double that for your event will show how special and how much the demand has been over the last few weeks to have something like this and the, the cause that it is raising money for. It's even more special. The winner on a majority decision in the blue corner, Mickey O'Donoghue, the Leitrim Cowboy. And we're going to have consultants and uh, experts from St. John's Ward to give a run through to the crowd of what this event is truly all about. <laughs> order for the night. <laughs> we have a time schedule to stick to. Round two. You know, give or take five minutes either side, we're going to have myself in the ring at half seven. The winner on a split decision in the red corner, the Brogan. And one for the very gallant Dave McCoy, everybody. Well done, Dave. We're going to make a general opening announcement to the crowd. Representing the Garda Boxer.
Warriors, it's a Darren, the Temple Mayor Tornado! Oh! Then we're going to announce a parade of the boxers. All the boxers will enter the ring. As you enter the ring, don't just stand where you enter the ring and create a backlog of boxers trying to get in behind you. Circle around the ring and go back to the point of entry or just before it. And the next boxer follows and follows. And at that stage, we'll have the whole ring, the outer circumference of the ring, will be all filled with boxers, okay? We're gonna stand for the national anthem. The winner, all the majority decision, in the red corner, Paul Then, when the national anthem is over, I'm gonna announce that all the boxers exit back to the warm up area. When you're exiting the ring, I will then speak for a short while about St. John's Ward and what uh, the operation involves there. I'm going to ask Dr. Angus Old Mark again to the ring. He will speak briefly also. We're going to show a short video. I'm going to introduce the officials at ringside and then I'm going to call on contest number one. When contest number one enters the ring, I want contest number two in the background somewhere, really close. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately we've had an untimely end to contest number 12. It's very disappointing and it's so much so more disappointing for Neil Ryan here. He wants to continue, but he has a very bad nosebleed. And we at White Collar Boxing always put the safety of the participants first and foremost. The doctor at ringside and the referee have overruled Neil's best wishes. And they've stopped the contest in the second round in favour of Paul Cornish, everybody. And please give a big round of applause to Neil Ryan and acknowledge all the efforts and training he put into to be with us here tonight. So. A fight can stop early. We're hoping that every fight can go the distance, okay? As Darren explained, we're not going to expose anybody. We don't want to see anybody up against the ropes for the three rounds and getting overpowered. We don't have any contracts with the local undertaker or anything like that. Everyone's going to be safe. We have doctors at ringside and everything will be looked after in that respect. The safety of each and every one of you is of paramount importance to us, okay? So don't get worried about that. Representing Trinity Gales in the We do want to entertain the crowd. Show your boxing skills, show what you've learned over the last few weeks. Get your stance right, nice long punches, nice footwork, but at some stage during the fight, the shit will hit the fan and you're going to go for it. And when that happens, hit anything that moves and if it doesn't move, hit it till it does. Okay, the best of luck everybody. And the results of contest at number 14, between Neil Ryan and Paul Okay guys, the run in order, the bounce, the lineup is as follows. The first fight in the ring uh, starting at 7.45 would be Shane Buzzy McNamara versus Aiden AK-47 Kennedy. Next up, Shane Big Cheese O'Brien against Dick Lights Out Fahey. Third fight, Union Bugsy Malone versus Jude I worked at Ainsworth. Fourth fight, Joe DeLeverler Lafferty versus Dermot the Bandit Cagney. Fifth fight, Declan the Asylum Quinn versus Connor Ash Assassin Gleason. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Introducing top of the bill, it's the Rugby Rock Rampage. Introducing, fighting out of the red corner, a guard of rugby player.
six fight. Nice guy Nigel McEnough versus Dermot the Fossil McDermott. <laughs> Bout seven, Alan Keller Commons versus Garrett Fithead Presh. Bout nine, Seamus the Shack Attack O'Neill versus Alan O'Connor. We have to get a nickname for him. Give me one now, somebody. <laughs> Okay, bout nine, there will be blood. Will the Cisco Kid six versus Nikki Knockout O'Donoghue? Bout ten, Rocky versus Rock Solid, Ender Granite Grogan versus David Mad Dog McCoy. Contest number 15, we have Cahill in the red, Grogan in the blue, your referee, Tyrone O'Neill. Okay, bout eleven, Paul the Bagger Tierney versus Darren, the Templemore Tornado owns. Bout twelve, Neil the Rhino Ryan versus Paul Pretty Boy Cornish. 13, Declan Chapo Condon versus Damien Red Miss Maher. 14, Brendan the Brawler Flynn versus Seamus. Cannon, Gannon. And number 15, Dave the Bullet Baller. Cahill versus Shane Byrne, who we haven't named yet either. Well one.
determination, is inspiration, and radiance. And I'm just so honored to be here amongst all those amazing people.